Drunk people at Disneyland. I'm not sure if Walt would approve. <laughs> Shaking guys, welcome back. As some of you might have already heard, this news is a little bit old, but Disneyland is soon going to serve alcohol. Back in 1955 when Walt Disney opened the park, he was set on having Disneyland a dry park, which means no alcohol will be served. When they opened up Club 33, alcohol was indeed served, but it was so exclusive, you really didn't have to worry about guests getting too intoxicated inside the park. And with Galaxy's Edge looming right around the corner in just a few months, things are all going to change. But before we get into that, let's take a quick step back. Over in Florida and Magic Kingdom, they were the first Disney park to integrate alcohol into the park. In 2012, Be Our Guest Restaurant opened up serving alcohol. Shortly thereafter, a few more restaurants decided to do so as well, followed by practically the entire Disney World Resort. So, it kind of leads us up to Disneyland, and a lot of people have been questioning if Disneyland will ever serve alcohol. Just a few months ago, Disney announced that Disneyland will be serving alcohol within its gates, inside Galaxy's Edge at the brand new Cantina. Now, that doesn't mean that Disneyland will start selling more alcohol, but a lot of people didn't quite think that would happen in Magic Kingdom and in Florida. So... Where does that leave us? So the big question is, is will Disneyland integrate alcohol services throughout the park here in the near future? As we all know, you can walk right across the Esplanade into Disney's California Adventure to get alcohol. Now, if you look at Disney World's model, you know, shortly thereafter they did install alcohol. It hasn't seemed to be a big deal. It doesn't seem like they've had a lot of troubles with it or anything like that. And as far as I know, DCA hasn't had too many problems, but now you're going to have stressed out people in Disneyland. People aren't as stressed out in DCA with crowds and all that. And I just sense there could be problems. I guess stress would be a little bit too, too specific of a reason to drink. I think it's going to be more People, when you go down to the resort, you don't, you don't buy one-day tickets to go see DCA. You buy one-day tickets to go see Disneyland. And then you're going to get... We talked about this in a recent video about locals and people that literally go every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is it going to turn into their local watering hole? Is it, you know, their local bar? That is my biggest fear with Disneyland. Is that a lot of people will come in... They'll have fun, but they're going to go drink. And then you're going to have drunk adults and, we, you know, teenagers can get their hands on it and it just trickles down. And Will it ruin the Disneyland experience? And I don't know and I don't think we'll be able to tell until something happens. Now, I have seen some instances of belligerent, overly intoxicated adults inside of DCA but it's I've never seen it really hinder crowds experience or people's experience now that might hinder their own family or their own friends experience but that's on them anyways so I I, I don't want to jump to conclusions on whether Disneyland serving alcohol would be a success I just don't I don't want anything to have a chance at intruding on not just mine, but other people's experiences. You know, Walt Disney created Disneyland to be for families, you know, kids, adults, whether you're nine months old or 99 years old. So, could this, could, you know, a couple bad apples ruin it for a few more people? I mean, you don't want your trip ruined in Disneyland because of some drunk idiot. You know, and, and I'll admit, we all drink. You know, I enjoy my tequila, my beer. You know, I, 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 if they served alcohol in Disneyland, I would most likely buy myself a drink. But I also know not to, not to overdo it, especially in a family park like Disneyland. That's what Walt wanted. 
And that's what I like. I, I, I really wish they weren't putting in the alcoholic, alcohol service inside of the cantina. I understand it. I get it. Florida's done it to, to great success. And there's no reason Disneyland can't do the same. I'm just, I'm a little optimistic. I'm a little worried. But hey, it can work and everything will be fine. So let's just hope, hope it's, hope that happens. So leave your comments about the alcohol service in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at the Cantina and Disneyland as a whole. Do you, do you like the idea of it being in the Cantina? Would you like it to just stay there? Or are you like me and a, it's going to happen like Walt Disney World? How do you think it'll go? What is your reactions to it? Do you enjoy it? Do you like it? Do you think it will detract from the park at all? Or would it be just kind of a hit and miss, kind of like anything else? Or it could be as smooth as DCA seems to make it be and Florida seems to make it be. But leave your comments down below, guys. I'm really curious because this is a topic that has kind of been in the back of my head and I've just been waiting and waiting to talk to you guys about it. So please leave your comments. And I'm curious to see what the, consen what the consensus is. So that's going to about do it for today, guys. If you guys haven't done so already, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when other videos like this or other park adventure videos are uploaded. And like always, guys, if you guys are at any of the parks, tell Mickey I say hi. And I will see you all a little later.